Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be discussing some interesting facts regarding the anatomical adaptations of various different birds of prey species and how these adaptations in turn enable them to hunt a wide range of prey items. Before we dive into this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Birds of prey of various different kinds are often referred to as raptors, not to be confused with the raptor dinosaurs as we know them, like Velociraptor. Raptor originates from an old Latin phrase meaning to grasp or to seize, which correlates exactly to how birds of prey subdue and kill their prey using their powerful feet and claws known as talons. In the majority of cases, the feet and talons are the most dangerous aspect of a bird of prey's anatomy and are primarily used for catching and dispatching prey. With their crushing grip strength and large sharp talons designed to penetrate prey and puncture vital organs and cause other kinds of serious damage, few animals can escape and survive these formidable weapons. As you can see from this image of a harris hawk's talons and feet, birds of prey have a distinctive foot design. All diurnal birds of prey have a foot shape known as anisodactyl, where three toes point directly forward and one toe points directly back. When catching and killing their prey, all four talons on each foot are used for this purpose. However, in the case of many of these raptors, the front killing talon, as it is referred to, seen here, and the oversized hallux talon or back talon, as seen here, are used to inflict most of the damage when gripping prey. When grabbing hold of a potential prey item, raptors have a special locking mechanism in their legs and toes that prevents their grip from slipping, which is aided by a series of ridged tendons inside their toes. This enables them to lock onto their prey with maximum force without their grip slipping at any point. With this extra strong grip in mind, combined with the oversized talons driving into the prey, this usually means they can dispatch their prey relatively quickly. Here we see the oversized feet and talons of a female Eurasian eagle owl. In contrast to the diurnal birds of prey, owls have quite a different foot design known as a zygodactyl foot formation, where two toes point forward and two point backward. However, the mechanism in which owls grab onto their prey and lock their toes in place, known as a ratchet mechanism as previously discussed, remains much the same, using their sharp talons to puncture their victim. Many owl species, as you can see here, also have feathering on their toes and legs, which is thought to help with insulation as well as protection from the potential bites of struggling prey. These are the feet and talons of an Aplomada falcon. Raptors that typically specialise in hunting birds usually have very long toes and wide feet for their size, including a various number of falcon species and exhibitors, or true hawks. These long toes and talons are well adapted to grasping birds on the wing. The falcon species believed to have the largest feet in proportion to their body size are peregrine and orange-breasted falcons. Some bird hunting species like the Aplomada falcon pictured here and sparrowhawks for example also have long legs for their size which gives them extra reach when snatching birds on the wing or out of thick cover. This female Eurasian sparrowhawk tackling a feral pigeon approaching her own size shows just how effective these adaptations are when hunting. These are the feet and talons of a female lugger falcon. Falcons and other raptors that hunt a higher range of mammalian and reptilian prey typically have shorter toes and feet than their bird hunting relatives. The reason for this is believed to be the fact that small prey such as rodents tend to bite quite badly when caught by these birds, and so having shorter thicker toes makes their feet more resilient against potential injury. In the case of some other species, for example jur falcons, Shorter toes are also an adaptation to withstand the freezing temperatures of their arctic climate. Some raptor species have feet that are tiny in relation to their size. Look at this yellow-billed kite here, which feeds mostly on carrion and small prey items. 
In contrast, here are the gigantic feet and talons of a male golden eagle. Larger eagle species like this truly are apex predators, with talons approaching over 2 to 3 inches in length. These giant weapons combine with a grip strength which is reputed to be similar in strength to the bite force of some large dogs or more, and these eagles can dispatch prey as large as deer should they choose to. However, the most impressive feet and talons of any living eagle known today belong to the mighty harpy eagle of South America. This image shows three accurate life-size models of different eagle species, with the golden eagle being in the middle and the harpy eagle being on the right. These huge eagles can have talons as large as a grizzly bear's claws and a grip strength in their feet reputed to be stronger than that of the bite force of some big cats, enabling them to take down prey as large as fully grown howler monkeys and sloths out of the trees in the Amazon. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video discussing the talon anatomy of different birds of prey and also shed some light on how they are designed to hunt various prey items in the wild. Until next time, see you in the next one.